Smack, man. Shout out to First Watch Finest. Y'all already know what we do. You know what I'm saying? We bring y'all the exclusive motherfucking content when it comes down to this battle shit. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already know how we give it up, man. Smack. Smack. I got smack. Smack. Y'all better calm down. Wiz. 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 Head in there. First Watch Finest. Y'all know what's up. Be not for sale. Nigga, what? If I show up, I'm going to add out, nigga. Whoa, shout out my nigga Scrabs, y'all. Close range entertainment, y'all know the deal. Pickles, first watch finest in the building. That right there. Y'all go on YouTube, y'all type in aired out by Scrams. S-K-R-A-M-Z, Scrams aired out. Part of the team. Nigga, we about to... Go check that out. New video out now, you know what I'm saying? Go check that out, y'all. First watch finest. Do me a favor. It's your first time stepping in my crib, though, you know. Respectfully, when you step in somebody's crib, you usually ring the doorbell. That notification bell, let me know you in this thing, you heard me? Because over here, we don't jersey. But y'all knew that. Boy, they got an announcement yesterday, and it's going down. It's going down. Value 9 is officially coming. We got the event, main event, headliner. And let me tell you, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to fill this card up. Well, niggas, that's going to match this because I don't see nobody matching this card. I don't care what they put on there. It's going to be hard to match. It's going to be hard. So Smack Value 9 was announced December 18th. They announced the headliner yesterday. And the headliner is Sue Surf versus New Jersey Twerk. What? <laughs> that is... Do you know how much star power and electrifying performance we about to get? I don't think y'all understand. I don't think y'all understand what we about to get. That is a crazy main event, man. Do you know the matchup they just created? But what's going on with these two battlers this year? Oh, my God. See this fat ass blunt? This shit called death, nigga. You know what I'm saying? This shit called death, nigga. If one of these niggas slip up, it's death, nigga. It's death, nigga. But guess what? These niggas ain't been slipping up. They ain't been slipping up. These niggas been having three flawless, crazy rounds all year. Well, I mean, you know, Sir Loso, the last two battles. Loso. Twerk, the last two battles. Surf, the last two battles? Last two battles. Now, uh... Arguably, you can say some people are saying Surf hasn't lost around six rounds. All right. Um, they said Loso. I mean, they said Twerk beat Loso 3 0. They're saying they tried to argue around, but consistent was 3 0. Versus Tay Rock, it's a debatable battle because most people are saying he didn't win the second round. You know what I'm saying? Most people saying Rock got the second clear. 
So, but it's a classic battle where most of his, or most of his fans say he won. Most of Rock fans say he won. So, you can argue be saying he's undefeated in his return, right? Surf has came back. He's undefeated, 6-0. and I did like John John's first round. Some people like John John's second. Consistence was Surf still won. I liked Calico's first round. Some other people like Calico's third. Consistence was Surf still won. You know what I'm saying? So, like, because you can argue he won those rounds. Even though we like those rounds that he did, we can still argue Surf won those rounds. You know what I'm saying? You can try to argue Twerk versus Tay Rock second, but it's going to be really hard because Tay Rock, like, left Earth on that second round. But now that they're facing each other, each other, this is not regular no more, man. This becomes a different ball game. A different ball game, my guys. We're talking about surf star power, his wittiness versus New Jersey twerks star power, aggressiveness, stage presence. You know what I'm saying? Um, voice projection. That's the stuff that twerk has over surf. Surf has the wittiness. He can also perform. Um, surf has. They both got major believability, dog. They both got major believability. That's crazy. They both got stage presence. It's like, it's just like the voice projection. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the twerk special moves. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of shit that can separate it. Uh, and Surf just goes through rounds so crazy and hits with crazy punches. And the way he does it, the crowd just loves it. And he can easily get through three rounds flawlessly of his kind of material, and they'll try to say he won those rounds. You know what I'm saying? The, no matter what nobody say, you know what I'm saying? They'll say he won those rounds, and that's what it is. That's kind of kind of ball game it is when you got these kind of star powers with these kind of fans. They fan bases is hardcore, especially twerk fan fans. They've been through, you know what I'm saying, up and down with him. You know what I'm saying? So if they stand down with him right now and he on his turn back, they really going to be on Nick Bumper. Like, you know what I'm saying? Most of them don't feel like he lost to Rock. It is what it is. I feel like he won. I feel like he beat Rock myself. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he got Rock first and the third. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion. So, but now, man, this is different, dog. Like, if one of them mess up on this run, it's like both of them got to stop each other. One of them, one of them streak by the stop. Unless they make it a hell of a debatable classic. Somebody's streak got to come to an end, right? Unless it's like him and Rock, a debatable classic. Like, but the crazy thing about it is, man, volume nine, I think, I don't think it's going to be in that small of a room. Like, I don't think this volume will be, I think it's going to be definitely bigger than the volume eight. I think this volume nine with this kind of crowd, they're going to have to go like 300, two, 300, man. Like, that's going to be too crazy. They can't. They're going to need a little bit of a crowd with them, man, because that's going to be wow. You know how many, you know, and last time Surf was in small rooms, he wasn't all that. Versus Loaded Lux, didn't really get through his material, you know what I'm saying? He blamed it on the Echoes, whatever it was, but he didn't get through his material. Versus 40 Bars, choked in the third. People say 40 got him out of here. There was his small room battles, he just did, you know what I'm saying? On the stage, he went crazy. Twerk has been back, but both been big stages going crazy. But Twerk knows how to rap in small rooms, too. So, not saying Sue Surf doesn't. I'm just saying, recently, Sue Surf ain't been rapping well in small rooms. So, we'll see if that changes. But I don't, I don't, I don't think it's going to be a super small room. I think it's going to be a medium-sized room. Because it's going to be the Caffeine Studio right here in Inglewood. And, um, yeah, I don't think... That's gonna. I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna bring a little more for that man, cause it's too crazy for that battle. That's a star power. That's a star packed, star studded battle, man. And that we get that as the headliner. Who else are they putting on this card? Geechee said he won't read on the card. Geechee usually would be a main, main, main event, but not over Surf and Twerk because they're the most hottest probably this year besides him, and nobody else to match up with him to make him a headliner. I would feel like unless they just wanted to make these guys a headliner because of the path that they're on. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, if Geechee's on the card, he would be below. You know what I'm saying? Right below them, probably versus Reed Dollars or a Hollow to Don.
It's either Reed or Hollow he getting probably if he on the 18th. He said he wants to battle on the 18th, you know what I'm saying? So, Reed or Hollow, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. And I don't know who they're going to put on this card that's going to match this crazy-ass matchup at the, at the beginning, but I don't feel none of the card. This is Battle of the Night. The, the headliner is the Battle of the Night, I feel, on this card. And I don't think it'll fail us. I really don't feel it'll fail us at all. I think we actually got a headliner that will be a headliner. You know, usually our headliners are never, like, the, the best battle on the card. Like, how often is our headliners the best battle on the card? It's not often. Most times, it's another card, another battle on there that came out of nowhere. They'll be like, oh, battle of the night. You know what I'm saying? So, now, I don't feel like we got that. I feel like we got a headliner that's going to be battle of the night, regardless of who's on that card, man. You know what I'm saying? Because... It's just too much to do, too much to say to each other. They was talking crazy already online. They were talking crazy in Jay Black's uh, caffeine. Surf felt like there's nothing he can do with him. You know what I'm saying? Feel, surf felt like he's going to get this nigga out of here. Twerk said he can't believe niggas is voting against him for Sue Surf. Do you know what Sue Surf said? Let me tell y'all what Sue Surf said before I get up out of here. Sue Surf said, if Twerk don't win... The first round, he's not winning a round. If Twerk don't win the first round, he's not winning a round. Let that sink in. That's how confident Surf is in beating Twerk. And that's how confident Surf is with his material. Let that resonate for a minute. You heard me? First watch fighters and what we don't do? Nigga, we don't jersey. But they bought the jersey. It's jersey on jersey, nigga. 